Earlier this year, the Philippine Army aspired to get AH-1S Cobra attack helicopters from the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, and so far there is an indication that it may push through. Should more detailed information become available, it may be disclosed in a separate entry in the future. There are reports coming from fellow Philippine defense watchers on Twitter coming from legitimate sources saying that the Philippine army may get at least one squadron or at least 12 units of the JGSDFA-1S Cobra attack helicopters. Although it may not be surprising if the Japanese government or the Philippine military, at their respective discretions, add more units of the said attack helicopters. Even with the number of units that the Philippine Army sees as being of interest to them, there may still be at least some remaining units that other countries in the Indo-Pacific may be interested in getting. Not to mention that the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force also opted to decommission their A-64 Apache attack helicopter, also made under license by Fuji Heavy Industries, from active service. With this information at hand, it is interesting to see the outcome of this opportunity at hand for the Philippine Army in having these attack helicopters from the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. Although in the end, it will still be up to the discretion of the Japanese government and the Philippine Army regarding the materialization of this grant, as having it possible surely gives them close air support capabilities almost at par with the ones their Air Force counterparts have with their attack helicopters. In recent times, the Japanese Ministry of Defense, based on their white paper, has officially declared that all of their attack helicopters in their fleet, aside from other air assets like their A-1J Huey Iroquois combat utility helicopters, are considered obsolete, and are getting replaced by modern unmanned aerial vehicles, replacing the roles once held by these firepower-carrying war machines and now up for grabs by countries like the Philippines. The Philippine Army sees the contrary, as they see the importance of getting these close air support attack helicopter platforms from a source like the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force in the same manner that their counterparts from the Philippine Air Force determined to secure their own attack helicopters, currently being the Turkish-built T-129 ATAK attack helicopters, now nearing their final batch delivery months, if not a year down the road. While there are striking differences in priorities on their defense requirements, both Japan and the Philippines are striving to improve their military capabilities, especially since both countries see Chinese aggression and expansionism as a threat, with different contestations of their claims taking place in southern Japan's Senkaku Islands and the western Philippines' Kalayan Island Group and Panatag Shoal. Aside from the fact that both countries are geographically located on what we consider the first island Chan. The ongoing bilateral relationship between Japan and the Philippines may flourish in the succeeding months, as the governments of both countries have recently signed 35 investment-related agreements primarily focusing on business ventures and investments, which may ensure the growth and development of both countries while possibly minimizing any potential risk from China's economic leverage. To sum this up, the Philippine Army has the huge opportunity to secure a portion of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force's fleet of attack helicopters, specifically the AH-1S Cobra attack helicopters made by Fuji Heavy Industries, as this gesture of bilateral defense cooperation between these nations signaled the start of a flourishing relationship that both Japan and the Philippines may surely benefit from for years to come. It is very important to take note that the Philippine president's visit to Japan may help influence the outcome of what's up for grabs, especially now that there are reports that Japan really eyes the Philippines as its first recipient of a security grant, whereby the chances of getting the aforementioned attack helicopters are getting more likely, among other materiel that deserves its own separate discussion. The grants, of course, may get ironed out further upon the Japanese parliament's approval and passage of the budget. The financing required for the Japanese government to carry out this new program comes just as the trend of their defense budget increases, and the Philippine military, upon that approval, may benefit a lot from the grant that came either through financing or equipment, 
taking note that this differs from their overseas development aid or ODA loans. <laughs>